Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of writing equations and inequalities, specifically how we can write real world scenarios that match these equations and inequalities and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we know how to solve for 8x is greater than 10x minus 4, but how can we turn that into a scenario or a real world situation with words? Well, we need to come up with some type of uh, situation, and it's usually easy to kind of go with a store. So let's, let's pretend we're buying some stuff, right? And so let's say x uh, equals the number of, oh, we'll just call it notebooks. All right, so what could we use to describe this? Well, we could say the cost of, and I'm just going to go left to right here, eight notebooks. So I'm just describing this is greater than, so we've got our symbol right there. Now before we continue, we've got to figure out what are we going to do with this minus four? Because obviously eight notebooks is not going to be greater than the cost of uh, 10 notebooks. But what are we going to take away at a store? Well, it could be some kind of discount. Let's call this a coupon. All right, so we've got our constant right here. So this is a constant because it is not changed. It is not multiplied by uh, our x like our coefficient is. And so it's got to be something that just kind of stands on its own, the number of uh, notebooks obviously is going to change the cost based on how many notebooks there are, but that constant is just going to be a coupon. Greater than the cost of 10 notebooks, which doesn't make sense on its own, but that's why we have that constant, with a $4 coupon. All right, so there we go. We've got a basic situation or scenario that would match this 8x is greater than 10x minus 4. Let's see what that looks like with an equation. So with this equation, we've got two coefficients that are going to be our rates that we're going to use to modify our unknown. Then we've got this constant. So we're going to have to do something with this plus 6. So let's do something different. Uh, let's say we've got Joe and Jim. Oh, let's do something different. Joe and Jim are climbing floors in a skyscraper. Let's say they're going up the stairs. So that's going to give us plenty of floors to choose from if it's a skyscraper. So Jim climbs, so let's go to our constant here, five floors, and then we're going to say x is going to have to be our unknown, let's say a minute, we're going to do that plus six, well he climbs at five floors a minute, Jim's going to climb at seven floors a minute, um, and so they're going to be equal, so how about this, and starts on the sixth floor. All right, so that's going to give him a head start. That's that constant, that y-intercept there. Jim climbs seven floors a minute and starts on the ground floor. So that's going to be a plus zero, which is why it's not there, on the ground floor. So that's going to work for us, ground floor. That's a problem. And then when will they have climbed the same number of floors? So that's the equal in x minutes. All right, so we'll put that in x.